Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Roblox UGC limited events video. Now this one is pretty crazy because we're going to be getting a domino crown. And also guys, unlike the other previous limited knockoffs that I showcased in UGC event videos, this one is actually obtainable. It's pretty difficult, but honestly, it looks really cool. So here it is, the silver domino crown. As you can see, quantity left 3,000. There was a total stock of 5,000. But to be honest, this is going so slowly simply because of how difficult it is but i'm sure after this video people are going to be able to get it pretty much guys i'm going to show you the like genuine method on how to get this because obviously i've already got it and i'm going to also show you the glitch method that this very cool person showed me and yeah getting this is um pretty insane it does look sick on my avatar fingers crossed roblox won't ban this because it does require a bit of effort to get but yes let me show you how to get it the game we need to play is teamwork puzzles to obbies so yeah the thing is guys if you want this domino crown you really need a friend I did try doing this on my alt account and it was just so difficult so definitely get somebody else to help you and also make a VIP server because if you do this on a public server loads of like bacon hairs join and stuff and it's just like super frustrating so yeah do this on a VIP server and um, go and join it and I'll show you what to do. So here we go guys inside of the game now at the very top of your screen you should notice this it should have a picture of the domino crown and it should say free limited UGC so these are all of the tasks you need to do the first task is kind of annoying it's in invite 25 friends so basically click on the green invite button then you just want to go to your friends and you want to invite random people depending on how many friends you have obviously you must have 25 friends to be able to do this anyway luckily for me i've got 200 and i hope some of you guys don't mind i did invite a few of you so yeah maybe invite people that you think won't be annoyed by your um invitation but if they're on your friends list then um, yeah to be honest they shouldn't really care anyway so just go ahead invite 25 people and um, this task is like the easiest out of all of the tasks and so there you go i'm nearly done so once i'm on the last guy i should just be able to close out of this list as you can see it's got one friend left and there you go that is it so if i close out of that that task is now done now the second task is oh my god very very annoying you have to play this game for three hours but um for me i was afk for three hours because um you know why not i guess you could unlock gems if you really wanted to but being afk is probably a good option here okay guys so here we are after three very long hours hours and I think the timer is about to expire so if I go and open the free UGC limited tab as you can see play for three hours is almost done one second there you go we completed it now believe it or not guys that's not the hardest task the last one is really hard hatch 10 eggs yes you have to go over to this event egg section and you have to complete this 10 times and of course it's a two-player obby so you really need a friend to do this I did try and do this on an alt account and it didn't work so you definitely need a friend let me show you you what you guys need to do anyway so the very first thing you need to do is step on your friend's head and you want to jump up and stand on this green button obviously your friend's going to do the same so both buttons are activated and then you want to jump up these neon green cubes and you just want to get on top of this part here now as you guys can see there are some purple buttons one of you wants to stand on this purple platform and you want to be very careful but it's going to move once your friend stands on it and obviously you want to jump over the lava um you know you're trying to get to the other side don't fall off either otherwise you'll end up in the water but then go and stand near this white button now just wait for the purple platform just to go back across because of course your friend is going to need to stand on that basically he needs to get on that um, blue sort of turquoisey button I guess you could call it so as you can see I stepped on the white button then I went and stepped on the purple button and he's going to be on the platform now he's got to jump across onto the white path step on the blue sort of button then I've got to do that as well so that activates the stairs behind me then I'm just going to control this platform by stepping on the button just so he can get on it and as you can see that's how he gets to the other side so this bit's pretty difficult it might take you just a few tries to kind of learn how to do it once you get the grasp of it you should be able to do it straight away obviously then you're on this bit um yeah my friend was very pro he was able to jump across you can stand on your friend's head there um obviously that black button lets you walk across and you've got the two blue buttons there then you've got sort of like a yellow button there that helps you get across there's a few lava beams though then you're on this sort of red section with this one i think you've got around 20 five seconds to get across here so be very careful don't touch any of the lava here because obviously it will kill you and once you die on this guys you have to start all over again now on this part guys you want to choose a color my friend chose blue i chose red and um pretty much you don't want to step on the other person's block because if you do it kills you so yeah you want to be very careful here as you can see i'm going to go and stand on my red bit so stand just like that he's going to stand on the green button on the blue section then he's going to stand in the middle i'm going to jump on his head to get across he's already blue so that's fine 
think you can get across. And that is how you get the egg. You have to do this 10 times. I'm not joking. 10 times is pretty insane. And honestly, it can be pretty frustrating, especially if you keep on dying. And maybe if your teammate isn't that great at obbies. Just like me, this Khan guy, he was way better at obbies than me. I failed a few times, but um, yeah, eventually we did do it. Now, I'd just like to say, guys, there is also a bug method, but this only really works if you have a lot of gems and also if you've played the game a little bit. But let me show you how it works anyway, just in case you find this useful. Pretty much right, you want to go to the shop, you want to buy the heart balloon. It's very, very expensive, but just make sure you've got it because if you don't have this, I don't think it works. I don't think it works with the other balloons either. So as you can see for me, I've got my heart balloon and I want to go onto the map, which is called Gravity. Now you need to unlock this, you need to do balance first. But once you're in gravity, right, as you can see, when I activate my heart balloon, I can literally fly. I can press one and literally fly around the map. It's pretty insane. Now this is where the glitch works, right? If you get your friend in the event level and make sure he's just by himself, he can actually invite you to it. If you were wondering how to invite somebody, by the way, you first want to start off inside of the same event game. So as you can see, there's me, there's my friend. Now I'm going to go and leave. And once I'm back in the lobby or the gravity game, as you can see on my friend's screen, it lets him invite me. So he can click on OK. And that's when I get the pop up. And that's when I can join. Obviously, I would need to be in the gravity game for the glitch to work. But yeah, you get the idea. So as you guys can see, he invited me and I'm now able to fly around the map because pretty much guys, right, the settings from the gravity map carry over. So this is like an insane glitch. And you know, this prize is kind of infuriating to get. So I wasn't really that bothered about finding a glitch. Actually, I was very happy. This saved me a lot of time. But yeah, we thought this was really cool. So I thought I might as well add it to the video. If your balloon glitches out or you accidentally die, it doesn't matter. You can just like reactivate it by pressing one. And as you can see, we were able to complete this like incredibly easy. This was really, really funny. Not gonna lie. So there you go. That's um pretty much how you do this thing. Um, If you do it the normal way, that's fine. If you want to do it the glitch way, that's also fine. You just got to do this 10 times so you can go and get the eggs. And um, yeah, as you can see, I did actually get one. So I'll tell you what, I'll do a jump cut to me winning the UGC item. So here you go. After me doing quite a few glitches and some normal runs as well, I was able to get my final egg. So once you have all 10 guys, you can open up the free limited UGC menu. There should be around 3000 left. And yeah, you can go ahead and claim this. So they're going kind of slowly. So um, if you want to get this, I wouldn't panic too much. Find a friend that's good at obbies and yeah, hopefully you can get it. And there you go, guys. We actually got it. That was insane, but I'm kind of happy I own this thing. Honestly, I could expect this to sell for like quite a bit of Robux. So yeah, if you guys want to get this, go and get it quick because I guess it's going to start running out.